How's everyone doing today? It's CJ Halleck with CJHalleck.com. And if you followed along with the tutorial so far, we're in the middle of building out a business website, marketing, social media, digital marketing, all that fun stuff. And in this video, I'm actually going to walk you through the steps to creating your Instagram uh, profile and Instagram account. So we're on Instagram.com and it automatically is landing on this page where you have the option to log in um, or sign up an account. So we're going to go ahead and click on sign up. Um, and it's still pulling in where I'm logged into Facebook. So we're going to click switch accounts, click sign up. There we go. All right. So now we're on the sign up page and this is where you can do one of two ways. If you already have an Instagram account that's personal and you're wanting to do business, you'll want to follow along with me in the video as we create a new one specifically for the brand. Um, if you don't and you have a Facebook profile, you can always come in and click on this and create a new one just using the Facebook profile uh, API access and stuff. But since we don't have that, we're not doing that. We're going to get started. So basically, you're going to start by putting in your email address. So we're going to put tbflabs at gmail.com. Full name is going to be tbflabs without that. All right, username tbflabs. I can't type today. Password, okay, just wanted to make sure it's not showing before I type it. All right, here we go. All right, and sign up. And you can save the password if you want. Um, and then now it's gonna give you some suggestions of accounts to follow. For the most part, um, you don't have to follow anyone. I would recommend getting started that you always follow Instagram um, just basically to see if they roll out any new information. Uh, and then from here, if this is for your brand, you may want to follow the other brands. Like you may want to come in you know, and do CJ Halleck. Of course, you want to go to CJ Halleck and follow CJ Halleck. You can follow me. I won't be mad. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, that way, if I'm logged in under this account, in the timeline, you know, I'll see the pictures that I post or whoever you follow. Um, you know, and then if you're doing specific things, if you're a plumber, you may want to come on and search for other plumbers and see what they're doing. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do uh, as far as who to follow, but that's not what we're here for. So we're going to go ahead and go back. Um, we're going to click get started. Um, and for some reason, I think it's wanting you to follow people. So we'll follow YouTube, um, Net Geo. They normally have some great photos. Um, and let's try this again and click get started. There we go. Why does it keep coming back? I don't, I don't get this. All right. So anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and go to our profile. You see here we need a profile picture. We have no description, no URL, no nothing. So we're going to go ahead and click on edit profile and get this completely set up. So the website is going to be HTTPS colon slash slash and then the URL for our account um, or, or, or for the website. So we're just going to put tbflabs.com and then you'll have a bio. Um, the big thing with the bio for Instagram is there's a few things you might want to look into and keep in mind that this is something that you can change throughout time to make sure that uh, you split test and see what works best for your audience because your followers may act different than my followers. Where if I have a call to action at the bottom of it to put in, you know, uh, click here with like buttons pointing down because this is flipped. The bio and the website is flipped on your profile. So if you go to your profile, the URL will link underneath the actual um, bio. So sometimes I'll put like arrows down, you know, let's, matter of fact, let's go ahead and just look. So I'll pull up my, so you can see, um, and there's a lot you can notice uh, the difference because this is an I, uh, a smartphone mobile first platform. Um, you want to design it with that in mind. The average person 99% of the time is not going to do Instagram on a computer because you can't post to Instagram from a computer uh, natively. 
So most people just use the uh, Instagram app on their phone. So that's why if you look at this, you see some crazy, like these blocks and stuff. These are all emojis that I use in my bio because I've found that having emojis in your bio has uh, massive amounts of um, uh, benefits. I get higher click-throughs. I get more people to my, you know, staying on my profile and my following has increased a lot more since I started using emojis in my bio. So you want to keep that in mind. If you want to do it like mine where it's broken up into separate lines, you'll want to like type out your bio. And I know I use iPhone on everything. I open up the notes folder, write my bio there first so I can have the return button and drop the, the different lines and then copy and paste it in. <coughs> Excuse me. And then copy and paste it in for the um, in the Instagram app. Sorry, I had to get a cough, drink a coffee. My throat's dry out. Too many videos today. So, other than that, so you'll want to get that done. So we're gonna come in here um, and for the bio right now because I don't really want to go through this and take up a lot of your guys' time as I create this. So I'm just going to go back to the profile needs worksheet. And once again, I'm going to just copy out the tagline and put the tagline in there. Of course, you have your email. You can choose if you want to do your phone number. You can choose if you want to do a, a, a gender. Um, similar account suggestions. Uh, you want to make sure this is checked. Um, because if someone's following, you know, if you're... <coughs> Excuse me. I said I've been talking straight for like three hours today, so my throat's like really drying out, scratchy. But anyways, um, if someone searches, you know, if you're a plumber and someone follows another plumber in your area and they go to their account, sometimes you'll see recommended, like suggested accounts to follow underneath their main profile information. For instance, if you're looking at this on a phone, right underneath this, there'll be a little thing that'll show um, recommended accounts that you can follow. And so you want to make sure this is checked so you show up there. Um, it's a great way to get extra followers, especially when you have the bio filled out with some information about what you do, the types of hashtags you post, stuff like that will all go into play with that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Submit, save those changes. I'm going to come up here and do Change Profile Photo. I'm going to go ahead and open up the Pro Pick that we've designed. I think it worked. I don't know. It's not letting me submit, so let's try again. So I'm assuming it's not wanting to take these because I think they are saved as uh, PNGs. Oh, there we go. We got one to work. That's all that matters. So now we have this in here. Have our logo with our profile picture. We have our bio filled out. Make sure you know you don't want to skimp on the bio. The bio is one of the most important things in your web uh, in your account. You want to make sure under no circumstances that you do not you have to make sure that you put that website URL in. Not having your URL in there could cost you a lot of business. Um, but now that we have that um, we'll go down. It's not saying submit so I believe everything is saved. Uh, we'll go back to the profile. There you go. So that is how you set up uh, Inst uh, Instagram, there's, uh, if you're interested, there's different ways you can post. Um, I say different ways. There's one way you can post if you're interested in posting from your computer. Excuse me. There is a app called uh, Grambler. That is a great app. I've used it a lot. Uh, it does give you options to kind of buy likes, uh, but I wouldn't do that um, just simply because it's just not worth it. Uh, and so anyways, you can basically drop your image in here, write out your description that you want to post, your hashtags, all that fun stuff, and roll with it. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and close that out. Um, but yeah, that's how I set up with Instagram. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment below. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. And be sure to hit the bell for notifications so you can get uh, notified when I upload new videos. That being said, hope everyone's had an amazing day. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. Be great, stay boosted, and we will catch you in the next video. Take care.